let's try to do the second question so the second question is you are you need to find the department which has the second highest average salary okay so from this employee table what we need to do is we need to first create a table which contains department and average salary that will be your step one okay if you just try to understand this part so simply group the data by department id and try to get average salary that is your step one now what is the step two as we've done in the previous question same thing that we need to do think about that there would be some ranking function so you have three ranking functions in here rank dense rank row number try to find what the most appropriate use case for this question pick that ranking function okay so get a rank flag that is your step two now step three is simply filter filter for whatever is mentioned right so here you need to filter for the second rank simple that's it this will give you the final answer okay that's what you need all you need to do is filter for this row that's it you will get the answer now let's try let's try to do this the same thing you can also do by using max function now so this is the table employee table that we've seen right now what we need to do is we need to get the first part so the first part is getting the average salary so department id doing the average of salary as average salary from employee okay this is the first part so i get i am what i'm getting is emp employee what's wrong in here select department id from employee emp lo y e e what is wrong in here group by ठीक है ग्रुप बाय नहीं लगाया था हाँ तो ये एवरेज सैलरी आ गई अब एवरेज सैलरी के बाद व्हाट डू वी नीड टू डू एज आई वाज सेइंग राइट दिस इज द फर्स्ट पार्ट नाउ थिंक अबाउट दैट यू नीड टू क्रिएट अ रैंक रैंक कॉलम ठीक है इफ आई कुड रैंक दिस रैंक माय डिपार्टमेंट्स बेस्ड ऑन द एवरेज सैलरी देन आई विल क्रिएट दिस रैंकिंग फ्लैग ना हाउ डू आई क्रिएट इट सो लेट्स से फॉर सिंप्लिसिटी सेक दिस इज माई फर्स्ट सिटी विद एम्प्लॉय with let's say department average salary okay this is your first part now what is the next part try to get the rank okay what is your next part select from department average salary now from here all i need to do is select everything so i will get department id i will get average salary let's say for simplicity i'll write it i already have created average salary column now what do i need to do i need to create a dense rank function dense rank and on top of this right so this is the table this is your department average salary table right on top of this you are running a dense rank function all you need to do is dense rank over there is no need for partitioning all you need to do is order by average salary descending okay this is your department rank let's call this as department rank now all i need to do is ensure that i filter it out for rank 2 okay so let's run this part you get department ranks right so you are you can see the department 3 is the second highest rank right so all i need to do is now create a filter okay so either i could just add this into a ct and label this as let's say department rank info and then on top of that or i could use a subquery whatever works right just for simplicity sake i'm i'm using this now select star from department rank info where now i have to apply the filter where department rank is equal to 2 now if you run this you will get what we want okay okay yes this was the error we solved this error we are getting this answer okay now this is actually a longer way the way i have written right ideally i could have written this same query in a very simplified way 
Now, given you are doing it for the first time, maybe you might try to do it in a very, uh, you know, one step at a time. So this is, this is very easy to understand what's really happening. Okay. But I can avoid a lot of steps that I have written. Okay. How can I avoid this? So the way I've calculated this part, right? Within the same query, I can actually write my dense rank function here. Why? Because see, this part of the query runs and gives me department ID and average salary. Now on top of this table, right? I can run this dense rank function here. So what I can do is dense rank over. All I need to do is order by average salary. Now average salary, I can simply write like this. Average of salary descending. Okay? And this will work. Okay? This is your as department rank. Okay? This could be your first part of the query. This will also work. Okay? So you get this part. Now on top of this, this becomes your first query, initial query. This is your initial CT. And on top of that, you can do the same thing. Again, do uh, the where clause and use uh, de department rank equal to two. So you can solve this question in, in the same way, right? If you're not able to understand how you are using it, koi, koi baat nahi. don't worry about it. Take it. Practice in the simplified way. Practice in one step at a time this way. And automatically with time, you'll understand, okay, this is also uh, doable, right? It will come with practice. Don't worry about that. Now, using max, okay? And this is where a lot of people will kind of make a very small and silly mistake. Let's try to do that. Okay, so the first part is same, right? You need to calculate the average salary. For that, you can simply copy the same part, which we've done it before. Okay, so you can copy the CT and this is exactly the same. Okay, so for this also, I can copy the CT. Then what I can do is, all I need to do is what, what I will say. In the previous question also, I did the same thing that from whatever this CT is there, right? So let's start from the department average cell, right? So let's just first run this part and let's just see what is this giving. Okay. Yeah, so this is the error. Now let's run this. So this is giving you department ID average salary. Okay. Now what we are trying to say is where average of cell not in okay you can write not in you can also write this and there is one more thing okay think about that something in exists not exists think about that also but as of for now let's just focus on this part so average of salary not equal to select max max of what average cell whatever you've written from your department average cell table okay what you are doing is you are again removing so from this table right you are removing the highest salary you are removing d4 you are removing this d4 and average salary row okay so this row will get eliminated because this is how the execution will work if you run this what you will get uh, okay what's the error from department yeah this is the error okay so now you see you will have three rows a row had gai konsi jisme highest salary thi now since we need to find the second highest salary what they'll do is they'll select your department id they'll select average salary and all they'll say is let's just order by average salary in descending fashion and again use limit one okay and this will work okay this will work again as a partial solution as i'm saying it's the same problem right what why is this a partially correct solution because if there were exactly let's say two departments with the same second highest salary so you should have printed two rows okay so depending on that use case here limit might not give you the best possible solution max and limit combination okay now Another common mistake that I have seen here is this part, right? A lot of people, what they try to do is rather than this part, right? I don't know what they do. They will try to calculate department ID and they'll say this is the max of salary. They'll, they'll also do this part as they'll mention this as average salary and same thing. They'll, they'll run it out here. Take care. And this solution will also work, right? There is nothing wrong. All you need to do is just apply the group by part and this will also work. But the problem is this is 
this is a very unnecessary statement that you are doing right you don't need right to create another summarization another grouping in this query right it was unnecessary it kind of makes me understand that you have not really understood the table the structure of the table the level of data right so avoid all of this part right always understand the level of data without that you will make mistake okay this is the common mistake second part what i have seen is that a lot of people they will try to give you the maximum salary right so what they'll do is this is what they'll do so max salary as they'll mention this as second second highest average salary from department you don't need anything on group by okay and you don't need anything on order by you don't need anything on limit okay this is what they'll run now the problem here is that you've just got the salary the value of salary you've not received the department okay so the next thing i'll push is now you need to get the department also right you can on top of this also you can again try to run some query and you can find this but this is unnecessary right uh, think about the question what the question was don't try to you know do n number of things unnecessarily just limit to your question and the best way was use you know first summarize the data use rank and this will work okay hope this is now sorted for everyone uh, thank you